Hi, so today we're going to do a hair transplant on a 35-year-old gentleman. He has some thinning of his hair and loss of the temple area, which is very, very common as we all get older. Um, we're going to use a Neograph machine, which is a semi-automated semi machine that helps actually remove individual hairs out of the back of the head. The old traditional way of hair transplant was to just cut a very large piece of skin out of the back and then you would have to have it sutured close. The newer technique actually takes out each individual hair to move and transplant into the new area. This reduces the amount of scarring. It's almost imperceptible and especially for male patients who like to have like a shaved or buzzed head, um, this allows them to keep that hairstyle after the procedure. The very first thing I'm going to do is to do a nerve block in that I actually know that there are two nerves that start here and supply most of the sensation to his head. He also has an extra postauricular nerve on each side which supplies the area behind the ear. By knowing the anatomy and knowing exactly where the nerves are, I can min minimize how many shots he needs so that he can get a full block for a painless procedure. Alright, so we'll just start. So I'll just massage it in. That's it for the sticks for now. Okay. So we're starting the procedure now. As you can see, each individual follicular unit is being extracted. This is why it's called follicular unit ext extraction or FUE. Um, this type of transplant, again, takes out each individual follicle or follicular unit. We don't do any cutting, there's no scalpels, there's no sutures, and it makes every single little hair removal completely imperceptible after you heal. So the patient, especially in the male patients, they can still wear their hair short. And as you can also see, the patient is completely comfortable, they're just resting in bed, they can watch a movie, they can relax, they can do whatever they want. Okay, so at this point, we're taking each follicular unit and we're dividing out the individual hairs. Most people usually have some units that are around two to three hairs per unit. This particular patient is a rare exception and he has up to four to five hairs per unit, which means that with every little extraction, he gets almost double the amount of hairs that he can use compared to the average person. Okay, so now that the hair is harvested, we're going to the recipient site, which is the two temple areas of the forehead and here we make little pinhole sites which are angled specifically to mimic the natural angle of the hair growing in that region and each hair is then going to be individually placed as if they were planting a seed into each hole and this is going to allow the hair not only to grow but to grow back at the same angle for a very natural hairline. So at this stage, we're putting the individual hairs directly into the little holes that we made. They're also put in at the right angle, so you see the ones at the very forehead at the widow's peak are placed in facing forward because that's how the hair normally grows. And so each individual hair is painstakingly placed in um, so that we get to manually control exactly how the hairline turns out. Okay, so we're pretty much finishing up his entire hairline here. If you look here, you can see the little hairs are already placed in into each little slot. And then the hairline is actually made to kind of fade and kind of be inconsistent, which is more natural rather than just a straight line across the head. And all the hairs are growing in the right direction. So after the hair actually begins growing immediately after the procedure. But after a few weeks, the hairs will start falling out, which is completely normal. And then after the next several months, the hair grows back permanently, much thicker, much fuller, and he'll be able to enjoy his completely new hairline.